My next guest was this year's winner of the Motown Museum's Amplify the Sound of Detroit singing competition. He also took first place in Masterpiece Sound Studios cover song contest, which was presented by the family of the late Motown songwriter and producer, Sylvia Moy. We launched the cover song contest in partnership with Sony Music Publishing. Coming up next. What up though, y'all? I'm Dre Sconey. And we are the Clouds. We a band right here from Detroit, y'all. What up though? What up though? We chose, as a collective, uh, Stevie Wonder, I Was Made to Love Her. Get ready for an experience that will be everlasting because we are definitely here to bring back real musicality. There's not much that come through Detroit on this level, you know, especially for us, the bands and, you know, singers and stuff Facts. like this. It's a lot for hip hop, but it's not a lot for us. And then, you know, I get to do my Motown thing, you feel me? I was born in Detroit, had a childhood sweetheart. We was always holding hands. I wear cowboy boots with the bottom belt. Shorty had a ponytail. I knew I loved her even then. The first place winner of the $25,000 cash award is Dre Sconey. And the clouds. Grace Goney is also taking on the role of Detroit's own Jackie Wilson in a new television series about the legendary entertainer's life. Here's my conversation with Dre, with Jackie Wilson's daughter, Brenda Wilson, and Letitia McIntosh, who is the production manager for the new TV show, which is titled, appropriately, Higher and Higher. Dre, I'm going to start with you, man. That was an incredible performance during the cover song contest honoring the songs of Sylvia Moy. Not only do you make it your own, add your own personal interpretation, but you pay such respect uh, and homage to the original artist. Uh, tell me how you approach that kind of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you saying all that. I mean, the, the first key is to, uh, like they say, study the grace. Um, so, you know, when it comes to like doing songs like that, you have to do it right. You have to do it justice. It's not an easy song to do, but, you know, I had to study that song. I had to practice a lot uh, and just make sure, I, you know, I, I made it me at the same time. I didn't want to try to emulate. And, uh, you know, I felt like that would put me in a bad spot. So if, as much as I made it me, I felt like I could tell my story along with that, you know. So that's yeah. pretty much how I came with that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, good practice for yeah. the television series where you're going to play Jackie Wilson. Uh, that's quite an honor as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I honestly, it was a super honor for me. Um, you know, thank you, Brenda, again, for choosing me. Uh, I, I honestly, oh, yeah. those are huge, huge shoes to fill. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, for, you know, Jackie's own daughter to, to see it in me and believe yeah. in me, I can, you know, use that to believe in myself as well. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brenda, it's great to see you. Uh, and always. I, I, I am always really impressed at the way you make sure your your dad's legacy is taken mm -hmm. care of first. Uh, yeah. but also, that it always seems to be on the move, right? There's always something new that uh, you're adding to it, another way to remember him and, of course, remember the work. The TV series will tell the, the story about Jackie Wilson. The movie just won't do it. Jackie's life was had a window of from five to 40. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we're using a, a lot of youth and young adults from Detroit metropolitan area. And not only that, we're using a lot of great talent for Detroit. So I think this, by, by Jackie being a native Detroiter, born and raised here in Holland Park and stuff. What better way to tell the story by using the people that were here in Detroit? And then also by being historical, it's also going to be educational for generations to come. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, uh, Tell me more about the, 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 the story of, of Jackie's life and how important that is. Um, Given the, the the work that people know him for, uh, you know, we always appreciate the art that comes out of all of this, but um, but we don't always know where it comes from. We don't always know that backstory. 
Well, the backstory is Jackie had a life of, um, he loved music and he loved entertaining, but he had a life that was filled with turmoil and, and uh, trials and tribulations and, you know, people that, you know, he thought loved him and didn't love him. You know, he, he loved women, you know, he had a bunch of kids and, you know, stuff like that. So his life started at a very young age, you know, having children. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, yes. I'm proud to say I'm one of them. Right. And um, so his life story, his backstory is very important because there's a lot of um, myths out there. And there's a lot of misconceptions of who Jackie really was mm -hmm. and the things that he went through. Yeah. Uh, Leticia, you're the production manager for the television series. Uh, tell us about telling this story on the screen. Well, I like to say thank you very much for including me on this panel. I, I'm really honored. And, you know, the dichotomy of this whole situation is that um, Brenda and I started working together a little over a year ago. Um, I started working um, in an office and uh, as a production manager, I wanted to be able to, you know, help people tell their stories. I actually worked on the cover song contest and the cover song contest is actually about Sylvia Moy, Sylvia Moy and that's her right. family. Yeah. Right. And that is what brought us all together. Brenda wound up being a judge. Dre Sconey was a contestant. Brenda saw him, saw his performance and was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and and I am the glue that's right in the middle that's bringing this all together because it is a marriage of the music, the movie, all of our backgrounds. You know, you know, God just made a perfect symmetry for us to all come together to be able to, you know, to bring this story to light. And, and it's going to be a really, really very good project. Um, it's going to allow the younger generation to mm -hmm. get a ch an opportunity to know who Jackie Wilson is mm -hmm. before Motown, because yeah. most people, they go back as far as Motown and that's all they, that's their directive on music in um, this, you know, for our generation, but it actually goes further back. And so we're going to, you know, allow Brenda to tell her story about her father from her perspective. Yeah. And there's a lot to tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we should uh, talk a little about Sylvia Moy. A lot of people don't know that name uh, from Motown, but but it's just as important as mm -hmm. uh, the, the stars who were singing the songs. Talk a little about who Sylvia was. Troy had a whole lot of first, and the it, it is um, an honor to be able to work with her family. Unfortunately, she passed away, you know, in 2017. So I never personally had an opportunity to meet her, but. You know, she was the first, just like Jackie Wilson was a first. She was the first to be a woman working in a record, uh, working for a record company, producing records. And she produced the record for Stevie Wonder that Dre Sconey covered in the cover song contest. Him and Dre Sconey and the Clouds covered it. Mm -hmm. And and it was a, a wonderful cover. And then they did a good rendition in the actual showcase. Um, so that's the beauty of it. But the fact that, you know, Sylvia Moy was the first, she discovered a lot of different people. She had worked with a lot of different people. And even in, even though she's no longer here, there's still discovery happening. I'm being discovered. Dre Sconey's being discovered. Brenda was already here, but now what she's being discovered is having the opportunity to talk about her story about her father. That's a discovery. So even in her absence, she's still allowing a lot of firsts to happen. Yeah. All right here in Detroit at the same time. And right. in Detroit, yeah. right. yes, uh, that's the beauty I mean, of it too. And, yep. and it, absolutely. And this is a really important year to think about uh, Detroit and to think about Motown, but also to think about what happened 60 years ago here in mm -hmm. Detroit with yeah. Dr. Martin Luther King, wh whose work, of course, um, was part of the inspiration around some of the work in Motown. And of course, um, the singers and the folks who were part of Motown were were important figures uh, in the civil rights movement as well. I, I imagine that some of that may come out in the in the television show. Is that right? Yes, it will. You know, Brenda, she is and I have been, you know, working a lot behind the scenes. One of the things that we want to do is recreate some of those shows that were on TV that Jackie Wilson had an opportunity to be a first to be on. The, he was he in many ways was a very eloquent and elegant man and an eloquent singer. And so that is the reason why he was pulled in 
to, to do a lot of different shows and to do a lot, a lot of different things and to represent himself and you know unfortunately I would hate to say it this way but to represent our people mm-hmm. at that time in that era yeah, um, and there were others but it was not a it was a very eloquent way that he did it he was very classy you know and very handsome and so Dre Sconey fits into that very well because it's like yes, he, he does. <laughs> it was oh, like he, he was it. born for this. Yeah, like, he was born yeah. for this. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But then you know, here before. Wearing my hair the same too, you know. <laughs> and, 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 and that's that, what drew that's right. what drew me to him was his Is hair. That- is I'll that? just be honest with you. But just to, to let you know, we do have some other A-listers like um, Omar Gooding, mm-hmm. James Moses Black from Snowfall, Cinda Williams from uh-huh. Mo Better Blues. And then we have a lot of Detroiters here, like Kern Bradley. We have Genuine, who's a, um, a c- comedian. Him and I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're using a lot. I mean, yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. Um, and then we have a lot of youth and young adults that we're given oh. the opportunity mm-hmm. to play different parts in this TV series. And they're really excited. You know, we rehearse yeah. all of the Jackies, the five-year-old Jackie, the teenage yeah. Jackie, and then this Jackie, all of them are first, but they all have so much talent. And, right. the, you know, they're going to be people that you're going to see, you know, a lot more of yeah. going forward. Oh, and, so, and another person that you know, too, is King Bethel. Oh. He's the he's the teenage Jackie Wilson. Okay. So we had three roles of Jackie Wilson that's from the goes from the age of five to forty. And this is gonna be really exciting TV stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so Dre, I'm I'm curious about the way uh, someone like you who is a singer in 2023 draws real inspiration from music that's so old now, right? Uh, this is no, before right. you were born, it's before. I was born a lot of it. Uh, how does that shape the work that you do now? And and what other influences are there as well? Well, for instance, I'm just going, how I know about Jackie Wilson is through Michael Jackson. So my favorite person was mm-hmm. Michael Jackson growing up and, you know, Michael Jackson's inspiration was Jackie Wilson. So to hear that, uh-huh. it makes you say, okay, who yeah. is that? You watch the movies and, and all that stuff. You're like, who is that? So now you got to go back and study some more. And now you got to understand why Michael Jackson became Michael Jackson. And then you go to Jackie Wilson and you see all these people, James Brown, and you just go, you just go into this rabbit hole. And uh, what I realized about that type of music is a lot of people don't are either thinking that it's too old or, or afraid to touch it now or it's too hard to do. But, you know, <laughs> I just, I'm just one of those people, uh, you know, I grew up in church, you know, just like the greatest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like, you know, that's the type of stuff I want to do, stuff from the soul, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that yeah. continuity that yeah. that uh, draws forward, right? Uh, yeah. Motown is uh, 60 years ago, a lot of the stuff, but but uh, the influences are all around us. Uh, I imagine mm-hmm. that the TV show will, will tell us. And then you. guess what? He got some moves that you won't even believe, <laughs> some Jackie Wilson moves. <laughs> when he did it for me, I was like... Oh my God, he got it, he got it. And the women gonna love him. Yeah. I said, oh my God, this is just a reenacting of Jackie Wilson. Yeah. They're gonna love him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, and he, he got the style, he got the move, he got the it factor, you know, and he got that charisma, he got that magnet that draws you to him, you know, so he's gonna be, he's excellent for the role. Yeah. When it comes from the soul, that's what that's what resonates. That's why music can be generational. That's why you can go to a concert. That's why pe- songs that were made 50 and 60 years ago can be remade now, and it's like new. So when it comes to the soul, it's gonna it, it just touches you. And and the beauty of this whole thing um, is that again, you mentioned Motown, but Jackie Wilson was the was before Motown. Before. He That's influenced right. Barry Gordy and, and helped Barry Gordy. His very Barry Gordy's very first songs were. Jackie mm-hmm. Wilson song mm-hmm. yeah. so right. that helps so that's before that time frame and that's the beauty of this and then what I really like about it just like you touched on earlier it's it showcases Detroit and Detroit's talent again there's a yeah. lot of natural talent um, a lot of things are happening in Detroit not only on the music side but on the film side mm-hmm. you know and that's where I come in on the film mm-hmm. side because you know Detroit has carved out its own lane I say it all the time in the film industry, we made our own lane in the independent film industry because we don't have the studios here like they are in Atlanta and like they've traditionally been in Hollywood. Right. But guess what? We want to invite them to come here. We've got the talent mm-hmm. in front of and behind the screen. 
All right. Well, congratulations to all three of you. And uh, we look forward to seeing the television series. Thanks for being here on American Black Journal. Thank you, Steve. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.